All right, guys, Lord Nolan here, and today we're talking about One Piece. Now, the most recent chapter in One Piece, Law and Hawkins had a conversation about the whole Kid Hawkins Apu alliance. Turns out Apu was already working for Kaido, he was a setup. Now, the thing is with that, that there's a lot of betrayals in the pirate world. Now, when this conversation is done, I'm not going to focus on the conversation. But the conversation is pretty straightforward. But when this conversation is done, Law seems to take another slice at Hawkins. And then he goes out and it looks like to me that we see Drake's feet, ex-Drake. I am fairly certain those are Drake's feet. And that would explain, one, how Hawkins is alone when he gets beat by, uh, when he gets beat by law. And two, why Drake was acting so weird. I think Drake has a plan to help take down Kaido. He wants to be part of the supernova that take down Ayanko. And at the same time, I feel like Drake may have some kind of backstory with either Kaido's uh, main crew or one of the people allied with Kaido. And or he may still be a Marine. Because you've got to remember, the world government is not against using pirates. They've used the seven warlords for quite some time. And the Corazon was in Do Flamingo's pirate crew. So they're not they're not against infiltrating pirate crews. It's it's been a thing. So Drake being a Marine trying to take down or monitor a Yonko is not a far fetched idea. Now I will say I I'm not exactly sure what Drake's affiliations are, only because Drake is we know about him and we know things about him, but we don't know Drake. That, like, we know things about him. We know things about his past. We know kind of what he can do. We, we can sort of gauge his power level, sort of. But we don't know much about him, really. We don't really know his motivations. We don't know what he knows about the world. We don't know his philosophy on the world. We, we really don't know nothing. He's a relative unknown. So for him to infiltrate Kaido's crew just to at some point betray him is not a far-fetched thing. So I feel like Drake is gonna pop up later in this story with either with his old crew, which he probably came to Wano with, or with a contingency of Kaido's crew, like the part of Kaido's crew that Kaido gave him sway over. Because at the same time, Drake is a supernova. And these supernova are all relatively strong people. And it seems like that the people that are under these people in Kaido's crew are very loyal to the people that command them. Now, everybody fears Kaido. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like the people that like are at the bottom may or may not be able to choose who their commanding officer is. They may be able to choose who they want to follow. Like I, I don't know how I don't know how Kaido's crew really works on the in like the guts. I know like I know who people are like the headliners. I know who the 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 what was it like the not the flying six was it the flying six? It was it was like the top six fighters and then the numbers and then the calamities. Like I know the I know the hierarchy, but I don't know its workings. Like, I don't know I don't know how these different groups of high-ranking officials interact with each other. Now, I know the calamities are at the top. I know that much. But at the same time, are the numbers at the top? Like, are the numbers and the calamities on even ground? Or are the face cards higher than the numbers? See, that's, that's like, Kaido's crew still has a lot of things we don't know about it. Now, like, 
say like a, another Yonko crew, like Whitebeard or Blackbeard or even Shanks or Big Mom, the hierarchy is pretty straightforward. But Kaido's crew has a little bit of chaos thrown in there. So it's kind of hard to tell because he's constantly, like he, he doesn't make like allied pirate crews. He brings people into the fold and then just shuffles them in like a literal deck of cards. Like he, he brings them into the fold and places them places. And I would assume that there's probably a high turnover rate for a Kaido a flunky. Because the usually the missions are you go in and get the job done or you come back disgraced or something like that. And if you don't risk your life, then Kaido might take it. So you don't you don't see almost any of the underlings that went to Zo in Wano. Now I will say maybe because Jack didn't want to survive Zunisha. Cause Zunisha did take out the fleet, but I feel like at least somebody had to survive. I mean, Jack is part fish man, I think, so he could swim still. He, like it's it's kind of iffy on how his uh, his sea legs are as a devil freezer and a fish man. Like he may be able to move a little bit more, or just, you know, obviously he can survive in water. He's not gonna drown. He just can't move in it. So with Jack, that's one thing, but. All the other small fruit users that were there, like, they're probably gone. Maybe Jack's the only person that came back, and that's why he was able to come back, because he, he literally expended all his ships and crew, and he was by himself, and he, had, he couldn't do anything that way. And, like, everybody showed up in Wano anyway, so maybe... I don't know, maybe Jack laid low when he came back or something like that. Or he came back and got punished, but Jack's strong guy, so he, he could take the punishment. Who knows? Who knows the, the inner workings of what Kaido has made in Wano? But as far as Drake goes, I feel like he has been in there for enough time to know what he can and can't do. Who, who he can press for like a uh, compliance who will, would betray him in a heartbeat like I feel like he's he's gotten it worked out and so betraying Kaido right now would probably be his best option at being uh, able to fulfill whatever plan he has for his time in Wano because you got Luffy there, you got Kid there, you got Law there, you got Hawkins there, but, you know, Hawkins got beat. You got Apu there, but Apu is part of Kaido's crew. He's the one that got Hawkins and got Kid. So, and, and all of the, these Supernova's crews. So, you, you got to understand, like, these guys are pretty strong pirate crews. Kaido's a freak of nature, but these are guys that could probably take on the lower echelons of his crew. And then you got all the samurai that don't like Kaido. You got the peasantry, you got the, the Yakuza, and you got the, the coming retainers. And maybe he heard about the prophecy. And so he was like, if I can get in at the time when Orochi falls, then I'm fairly certain my plan will work. Whatever his plan is, we don't know what it is yet, but I feel like Drake has something that he's going to do in Wano, and him and Law work something out, and he betrayed Hawkins. Because there's no way that Law beats Hawkins and Drake in the same room while he's chained up. There's no way. So Drake had to help. But uh, that being said, uh, if you like it, drop a like, subscribe to Lord Nolan. Uh, follow me on Instagram at LordNolan91. Follow me on Facebook at LordNolan. If you want to be a guest and you're in the San Antonio area, I have uh, a drawing for anybody that comes on. The, uh, at the end of November, we'll have uh, some form of drawing method. I know like it could be a tumbler, it could be a hat, it could be a bowl, it could be whatever. Uh, and we'll draw a name, and that person will get some movie and or anime memorabilia. It could be toy, poster, movie, uh, 
video game if I can get enough uh, TV, sh uh, not TV, <laughs> T-shirt, uh, hat, backpacks, uh, you name it. It could be anything. And uh, we'll give that away in December on Christmas. So uh, you want to be a guest, hit me up in my DMs on Instagram. And that's it. Bye bye now. I'm in the grave by myself. Fuck who I don't need no help. I wanna change on myself.